All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Borderlands 3 item guide video. And today I'm here on Eden 6 at the Anvil. So normally you spawn all the way here and have to run all the way through this and go right here to where the sky bullies are. Luckily, there is a safe station right here. All right, where are these sky bullies? Somewhere up there. Uh oh. There we go. That is much better. And we did not get the item we are looking for. So I will cut and come back to when we do. And he dropped what we were looking for, that being the Hex. Okay, so let me go and turn off the run counter. Alright, so it's an Atlas grenade. Uh, okay, whatever, anoint. I don't know if this works with the Iron Cub, since it says Iron Bear, but... Uh, all right, so it's an orange-ish red color. And other than that, not really too anything too interesting about it. All right, and its red text is Keeper of the Stars. I hope to never find. So the unique ability of the hex is the grenade homes in on enemies and swirls around the target. Then it constantly deals damage while swirling around the target. Luckily, we do have some enemies nearby, so we can see what that means. Where the heck did you go? Oh. Ah. I see. Hmm, it does pretty good damage. But, uh, alright, let us go and use this weapon out on some bad guys. Alright, so I'm here at Carnivora. Make sure that's off. Okay, sweet. Uh, I'm just running through Volter, a Minesweeper that gives me grenade damage and splash damage. Uh, toboggan, because I really don't think anything affects this. And I kind of wish I had a different anoint on it, but whatever. And then another thing, I think, if I remember correctly, something about this grenade they changed, which means it no longer activates means of destruction. I think. All right, let's see what I could do, though. Hmm, a little over half a bar. Let's just chuck a bunch. All right, we killed one guy. That guy is not dying, though. And then I think there's a version that can split into six. I think, yeah, I only got one. I can... I only got the one that splits into three. So, yeah, you can get one that spawns into six grenades. I think. Hmm. Is it activating my kill skills down there? I wasn't even paying attention. Let me see. All right, something's getting activated. All right, so it activates kill skills, it looks like. Unless that's just somebody dying from it. Oh, 
but it looks like on its own, it really doesn't do a whole lot of damage. You really have to chuck a bunch, it looks like. I mean, look at that. That guy's not dying. Hmm. All right, let us go and use this grenade out on a boss. Why don't we? All right, so now we are here on Necro de Feo in front of General Trons Arena. Uh, nothing really has changed, running the same gear. Oh, and I don't have any grenades. I always forget to grab grenades because normally there's always a, uh, a machine. Hey, just stay right there. Oh, I think I can. No, I didn't get any back off of that. Oh, but I think I can get some off of these. If I'm lucky. Yeah, so I'm not sure what build these are useful for. I don't know if these could be useful on Flak with his Megavore skill or what. I don't know if they activate that because I know the uh, Hunter Seeker does, but I'm not sure if this would. But yeah, I mean, they're okay. They really stick around to make sure like the enemy doesn't get its shield back or anything. So that's pretty nice. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not really too sure what kind of build you'd use for these. But yeah, there you go, guys. That was today's video on the Hex. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and a subscribe because we'll follow my channel. And I will appreciate that, guys. And then let me know, did I use the Hex correctly? If I did, great. If I didn't, uh, let me know, and then I will make sure to do a part two on it. Let me know what kind of build or anything goes good with it. And then, uh, yeah. So I have to see you guys next time.